Hello everybody, my name is not Markiplier, and welcome to the world's quietest audio interface review. Good afternoon everyone, I'm the Impressionist, and welcome to my review of the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 Studio. Now this was going to be an unboxing video, but I'm not going to be able to show you that because while I was doing the unboxing and trying to set everything up, my computer decided it was going to blue screen. So for those of you who would have liked to see that, here's what it kind of looked like. Oh, what? Oh, what's this? Oh, 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 oh what? Oh it's, oh, it's the thing I got. Wow, it's so, so, so cool. Oh my, I'm going to totally open this in front of the camera and keep the footage that it's not going to get corrupt because my computer blue screens. This is going to be awesome. Oh, what's this? My old mic? Just toss that gently over there. The new headphones and... And now this is on the left, yeah? I can hear how loud I am now. Man, setup was a bitch. I had to restart my computer like 15 times. Oh, it was great. Oh, it's awesome. So that's what it kind of looked like, although with crappier um, audio. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about how I could be, like, I could become, like, an ASMR channel. Not going to do that because I think ASMR is kind of gross. I'm hungry, okay? Wings. Wing time. Anyway, set those aside. What's going on in the headset? sounds really good and um it there's not as much background noise as there was when i was using the other one because my computer is like always always running it's always you know making some sort of stupid noise i just turned this down you, if you can tell i don't know if i'm going to edit this part to be a little bit louder but I, I did turn it down because it was clipping a bit and uh, I, I didn't like that the setup the setup for me because i'm an idiot was kind of difficult. I could not figure out for the life of me why the microphone wasn't making, wasn't picking anything up, and why the headphones weren't making any noise when I would go and like I went on YouTube, watched some videos to kind of like you know test it out, and they just weren't playing any audio. So I was like, what the hell? So it was like, oh, it's, it's inside the box. It said, oh yeah, by the way, make sure to go in and change, you know, this thing to like make it the default device, and I'm like. Perfect. I really wish I had thought of that to begin with. I have like this huge smooth wall just in front of me. Being right up against this wall here, just all the sound just bounces off and comes back. Um, even though, and I'm gonna turn this around, even though the sound is um, pretty garbage from around the other side of the microphone, it's, it's best when you're speaking directly uh, into it. Or if you don't wanna speak directly into it, like if you don't have a pop filter or something like that, and you wanna make sure that the, the wind from your mouth is doing minimum amount of damage, you can always just point the microphone at your voice and speak past the microphone because then all those P's and all those those B's and those you know those those T's and stuff like that they don't get caught in the microphone's little little hair thing that it uses to detect sound and send uh, information uh, to the, the computer which then you know does all the recording and stuff but yeah everything sounds great so next time I do a green screen project I am totally using this baby. Speaking of which, um, I'm getting a new green screen, and I'm also getting uh, stuff to make homemade lights that are going to be there to specifically light up the green screen, uh, and I'm gonna have separate lighting for me specifically. The reason why I'm getting things to make my own lights is because the lights that you get for this thing for that are you know studio quality are like thousand to two hundred to two thousand dollars. Excuse me. So. They're very, very expensive, and there's a very, very, very inexpensive way that you can make your own lights. I will leave you a link to that video that you can go watch. This guy will show you uh, what you need to buy and how you put the whole setup together. So check out that link if you're an aspiring creator like me and you need an affordable option for lighting for your green screen studio. After watching that video, I've made my decision. I am not spending any money on any crappy lights. I'm getting what I need to get. And that's it. There's this other thing I want to get, and um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to afford it. I think it's like it's like $200. It's this adapter you can get for any camera. Um, it, it can be like an actual legitimate like handheld camera. Um, and I want to get a really good handheld camera. That's that price for that is just completely just a whole different ball game right there. Um, with this, it allows you to like adapt it so like the computer thinks that it's a webcam. So I'm, if I end up doing this, I'm gonna have really, really kick-ass quality. I'm gonna pull my camera off of here real quick so you guys can see. This is, um, well, first of all, this is the mic. It comes all the way around here to this mess of cords. 
all the way around back there to uh, my audio interface. Oh, let me spin this around. It kind of got tangled up a little bit. Okay, cool. So this is the audio interface. I'm sorry I have to use this camera this way. This is really flipping handy. If, for anybody thinking that this is some sort of gimmick, it actually flipping works. Like, I get really loud. I'm going to try to make it clip. There we go. See? It, it knew exactly when the, when the audio clipped, and it told me. Anybody who, like, has trouble with, like, audio, and, you know, they, they find that their audio is maybe a little too loud or it's a little too low, this is a great way to basically show you where you need to be. Um, and uh, this might just be the audio interface for you. I haven't messed around with any of this stuff yet. I don't really know what this is. If you want an instructional guide, there's plenty of stuff online. Um, I'm just coming from the perspective of a person who just bought it, and um, I am pretty satisfied with it. Oh wait, did, it didn't even like, okay, it didn't even clip that time. That's great. Wait, I should be speaking this close to my microphone all the time. I should be doing that now. This audio sounds delicious. <laughs> All right, so here we are again. This is the day after getting the interface, and so far it has been amazing. I recorded another video that I'm probably gonna release after this one where I'm doing an impression of a text-to-speech program. I've never had better sound quality in a video than this right now, and I am super, super happy. If you're somebody who is coming from, um, you know, having a uh, just a, a straight up USB microphone, um, this setup is just a straight up upgrade. It's totally worth the money. So here you can see this right here. When I flip this switch, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to hear myself talk anymore. It just sounds really weird because these are noise canceling headphones. So it's like, I, I've gone from being able to hear like everything to being, you know, to just hear like muffled like sounds and stuff like that. So, so when I turn that back on, now everything sounds normal. This is backwards, hold on. I have this backwards from when I was recording. Hold on a second. This right here controls um, how well I can hear myself in my um, in my headphones. I have it like all the way up. Basically, it, it takes over your entire sound system. Um, instead of being like the real tech audio thing, which is what I had, now everything is happening through this. Um, so I'm getting my audio back um, through these headphones that are plugged into here. Uh, these are the headphones, the new headphones that I'm using. Um, so everything from the computer is now going through that and coming into here, which is actually increasing um, the volume of the audio as well. Maybe it's just the headphones. Maybe that could be it, or it's probably just the sound system in general. Who knows? But um, it's it's increasing basically everything about you know my audio. So it's 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 pretty great. So I would definitely recommend getting this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this review helped you out. Please leave a like to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, doodles.